599 euros and looks super, super premium. Is it gonna be worth it? I'll jump onto my first impressions in a second. But before I do, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It's how you're gonna stay on top of everything that we do. Right, let's talk about the phone a little bit. The design is pretty standout, especially in its zingy copper color. It's shiny, reflective, available in copper and black colors and matte blue and steel color. The shiny ones are definitely the best looking. The screen's a weird size, 5.3 inches, somewhere between an iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, for example, but it is much sharper with its quad HD resolution. It's also really, really bright, it goes up to 700 nits, so outdoor viewability should be no problem whatsoever. In addition to that, the design is pretty sweet in terms of port configurations. You've got a USB Type-C, and in spite of, at its thinnest point, reaching around 4.6 millimeters, you have a headphone jack too. Another the one up it has over the iPhone. That said, one thing that you don't have is waterproofing, instead you have splash proofing, so it won't be quite as weather resilient. Inside the phone, it's Android 7.1.1, and it's a really stock version of Android as well. In initial use at the launch event, it all felt so snappy, so fingers crossed that, that translates to real world use, and it should do, with a Snapdragon 835 processor paired with four gigabytes of RAM. 64 gigabytes of internal storage plus micro SD expandability, and like I said, this really, really is a flagship. But what's gonna differentiate it from the crowd? Nokia hopes it'll be those cameras two 13 megapixel rear cameras and one 13 megapixel front camera for some really high res selfies, or with F2 lenses. What's cool about the rear camera setup is one of those cameras is native black and white. You can check out my Honor 9 tips and tricks video to see the benefits of native monochrome sensors. This can also do some pretty smart stuff, such as live stream to Facebook and YouTube using both the front and rear cameras in a split screen mode, something that we haven't seen seen before. Another world first is the audio recording on the Nokia 8. Using Nokia's Ozo technology, O-Z-O, -O, it records audio in a really surround way. You can really differentiate the stereo recording, but it's better than stereo. You're engaging the third microphone on the Nokia 8 to deliver a really immersive experience. We'll test that in more detail in the full review. On top of that, you've got a 3090 milliamp battery under the hood. So it should get you through a full, full day. And you've got that Snapdragon 835, which from our experience has been pretty power efficient. So fingers crossed there. You should expect this to roll out around September time. So if you're interested, 599 euros in its respective currencies, depending on where you are. Fingers crossed we'll get advice soon so we can post our full review in the next couple of weeks. Stay tuned to Tech Radar for that. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. And if you like the channel, subscribe. It's how you're going to stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching.